Hey everyone, welcome back to another overnight adventure. Adventure fishing trip. Main goal is catch a lot of fish. As we're going to a lake that we estimate just opened up. Well, the lake probably has been open for a couple weeks. But the mountain that we're literally hiking on here was covered with snow last week. I mentioned that in the last video, so now we are headed up, no trail, to catch some awesome fish. They aren't super big, but they're really active. Oops. So come along with us. Let's catch some fish and have a good weekend. You know what? Okay, we've stopped for a water and I think a snack break. <sighs> we are both out of shape. But it's gonna be way worth it to fish this lake. I mean you can't really see you can't you can't really tell. Right there, just boulder hopping up like a 45 degree slope, so we're a little gassed because we just did one, now we gotta do another one. But. Sitting in the electrical rooms is not helping me right now. Right, sitting, sitting all day doing office stuff sometimes isn't worth it. But, if you wanna go where the fish are, you can't stay on the trail because that's where everyone fishes. I am uh, straddling a log. <sighs> I'm out of shape. And you know, with the view, let's see. The view like that, you can take a break. But again, Long Legs McGee's almost to the top. Beautiful view, beautiful. Don't get much better than this in life. I tell you what. Is our first view of the lake. Beautiful. Holy cow. I love this area so much. So right there is where I've put my tent. Oh, I'll insert a picture. But you can see there's a dead tree right there and it took out that tree. Just there's a lot of deadwood up here and you got to be careful in these UNS. But up here there's like one dead tree right there. And uh, a couple small ones. But this is our campsite with a fantastic, fantastic view. housekeeping tip for you guys um, I take all of my stuff sacks so when I get my sleeping bag out when I get my tent stakes like all these bags I put them in the just the tent bag everything goes in it so that way I'm not I don't have multiple bags all over the tent and just a little more organized and I just stuff it into one of these mesh pockets just here on the sides just a little tip. 
So Shane has one of these, you can't really see it, Flexite 1.2 ounce air pump. For, has a bunch of little adapters and nozzles. So I'm going to give it a whirl because it would be worth it. Because I think it would be a lot easier than this thing. Let's give it a whirl. I don't think this thing's working. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, dinner done, camp set up, hydrated, refueled, ready to have some fun. We've got the fishing poles, Shane is fly fishing, I am spinner, I think I'm going to catch more fish than him, but we're going to do a little evening fishing sesh, Let's see what we can snag. I'm going to use this smaller Jake's lure, spread it out just a bit, and knock the barbs off. Go! Yeah, yeah, yeah! He's a cute little guy. himself around that hook. That was savage almost. Oh yeah, buddy. Again. Okay, four fish. For me, zero for Shane. Uh, three, like quarter ounces, and then uh, one half pounder, maybe 12 inches long. So, you know, not bad. They seem to have stopped biting, so uh, we're gonna just head back to camp. I didn't grab a jacket, so I'm a little cold. 
and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the evening from here. Okay, everyone, and that is a wrap for the evening. We just spent some time by the fire talking, had some s'mores again, pretty good, and uh, yeah, it is 9.45, pretty tired, had to pour concrete today and then the hike up here, so I might fall asleep soon, I don't know, um, but what I'm going to do, watch a video on my phone, or a movie on my phone, just relax and uh, go to sleep, so... We'll catch y'all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. 7.30 in the morning, and uh, it was a good night. It's really good. It gets windy up here, but not too terrible. Um, it actually got pretty cold. Probably, like, upper 30s, I would guess, in the coldest part. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. So the plan is, enjoy this awesome view. Stumps in the way, but... You can kind of see the mountain ranges, the wonderful Uint uh, mountain ranges. And then I'm going to I think I'm going to get breakfast first then go fishing. Yeah. I'm going to do breakfast then fishing. And just cuz. So the plan is is to spend most of the day up here and then hike down. <coughs> Excuse me in the afternoon so uh yeah let's get the day started Well, my luck today has gone from bad to worse. I had to re-spin uh, my fishing line. Sorry, I almost thought I had to sneeze. Re-spin the fishing line because my string would just spin on the reel so it wasn't tight, which is my fault. But I've operated this for like three seasons now, so I guess did pretty good but then I went to cast it and this came out just and it's deep like the real one of the uh, uh, passes just wasn't even or something I don't know so now I got this cluster and the only way to get it out is to take off like a ton of fishing line really sucks because now I'm worried if I cut it I'll just launch it and lose my lure which it's like a two dollar lure but still I don't know what to do I don't know what to do here what to do so the joys of fishing and getting better at fishing Yeah, I don't know if you can. It is like way in there. I'll let you know what happens. So I cut it, cut the loop out, and said, I'll oh, we'll see how far I can get. Then once I pulled out the string to re put on my swivel, 
I noticed I was only a couple wraps away, so good thing I didn't put my lure on. Lure. Lure on. Because it would have just been gone. So now I've, in essence, cut half of my string off of my reel. So I'm going to have to fix that when I get home, along with some things in my tent I noticed today. So, in theory, I should be good. So I put a small silver Castmaster on with a like a red red attractor sticker pattern on it. Who knows? But sitting here, I'm actually sitting. But sitting here thinking, you know, even even if sorry, my phone's a little off. Anyways, yeah, there we go. Even if you don't catch any fish, you know, catching fish is awesome. It's definitely the way to go. Um, but just being able to sit, listen to the birds, feel the breeze, just think. So I think all too often we're, we're bombarded with all of these things in life, you know money fame friends you know all sorts of things some things are good some things are bad you know it's just life it's the way we are but to come out here where all you have to do is just sit think fish get some water eat some food take a nap sleep you know get back to the basics um, like Waylon or yeah there's that country song and it's like get back to the basics of life you know talks about keeping up with the Joneses and all sorts of stuff I'll put a link in the description below for that song but just to sit and think there's a lot of good for for a person feel the sun the sun's coming out peace and quiet it's definitely what God intended people to do, that's for sure. a wrap for this video we got skunked out of fishing today we've really had that much bad luck on uh, that lake usually it's pretty good to okay but there was nothing me nor Shane got a Shane got a couple hits I got nothing and I tried a couple different options but you know that's part of the game so as you can see, we are hiking back down to the truck, and we are going to get out of here. So, thanks for joining, and we'll catch you in the next one.